in, in this emergence of consciousness, in this recognition of that, you also begin to lose the sense of an individual that is separated from the source into the divine consciousness, into the recognition that it is the totality, the entire existence is operating through you. So this idea that I am a person capable of doing my own thing, I have my own free will, which is by the mind, is very frightening to let go of it. It's extremely fi frightening. What do you mean to let go of the control and pay attention what kind of control freak you are? Pay attention to that. Look at it. Go back in your life. That how much you need to be in control of everything. How much you're really trying to control things all the time and manipulate things. And a lot of that manipulation and control is falling under this spiritual persona. How peaceful you are and you got all the right stuff. You're wearing white and you got the feathers and you're having your crystal and you have your mala and you go to yoga and you're vegan and you're vegetarian and you're so spiritual. But look under it and see how controlling you are. How much you're trying to manipulate things. How many courses have you taken in order to manifest your soulmate? How many psychics you've spoken to to see when is he or she is appearing? That's control. Trying to manipulate things. How many courses and pra classes and practices of self-empowerments I will be taking and partaking in order to be able to manipulate things, manifesting things. All these classes about manifesting things is what? So I can control universe to get what I want because I have my own free will. And look where it's leading you to. Look where we're at right now. On the world about to collapse, On a planet which is going, it's doomed. It's going downhill. A system which is broken and it's going to hell. So do you want to stay in that boat or you want to jump out of it? What do you want to do? You want to go downhill with this baby because it's not working. It's very obvious. And we're going to see the second pandemic wave is going to come and it's going to get worse. Do you want to be a part of that? Or are you ready to wake up because you are in a nightmare? The house is in fire and it's falling apart. Do you want to jump out of it or you just want to hang in there and try to fix it? And in order to get out of that, you have to let go. You can hang on to the Tesla. You can hang on to your stocks, your few homes around the world, all of your friends, trying to keep everything the way you want, and also go to full self-realization. You're going to have to let go of your ideas, baby. That's how it is. The only person who is going to suffer is you. And those like-minded ones who are supporting the collective idea of separation. And that's, those are the ones who suffer.
trying to hang on to something which is not real because you're not real. Your idea of who you think you are is not real, doesn't exist. It's an optical illusion. It's illusory because you think you're separated and you can change something in the world that is also made out of illusion. Forget about the world. Trying to fix the world. It doesn't need your help. There's nothing you can do about it. You weren't, you, you're not the one who created it. Let the Creator deal with creation. That which has been here before you were born, thousands of thousands of years before you and I were born, and that which is going to be here years and years after you and I die, let that one deal with this world. It's not your job or my job. Trying to change the world. And look what a mess we got into. It's worse than ever before. Because this world is a representation of a busy mind, of a collective, busy, sick, diseased mind, which has ADD. It can barely be present. And it's all over all the time. It's running so fast. Why do you think... Have you ever wondered why events in the world are accelerated? Why everything so fast? And time's going by really fast. Have you ever thought about that? And most people say, well, as you get older, things go much faster. It's not necessarily because you're getting older. It's because the collective mind it's getting very busy. Hundred years ago, you would, in order to exchange information, you would go to the center of the town. Most towns, especially not in the U.S., because now the center of the town, most centers of the town are replaced by a shopping mall. But in Europe, in, in all over the world except the U.S., uh, we have it in a few cities in the U.S., but not everywhere. Every town, every village has a center of the town. And people would go to the center of the town. They would take their goat, they would take their cheese, their milk, whatever they had to bargain with. And people would go to the center of the town and they would exchange and bargain for something they, they needed. And also they would exchange information. So you would go there and that was like the newsstand. And you would tell somebody about what is happening 20 miles, 5 miles, 10 miles, or 20 kilometers away in the next village or another place. So information was not traveling so fast. It was very slow. And if you lived in somewhere in Sweden, you lived in Stockholm, you didn't know what was going on in South Africa. You didn't have access to that kind of information. It would take months before you get some information about even another city or another country or what is going on in London. That information wasn't instant, so it would take time before it comes to you.